Hey, welcome to the Longhorn Motel Cafe and Gas Station at Glen Rio. I'm Keith Vaughn. Welcome to Keith Vaughn's Flying Circus. Hey, yeah, this is Glen Rio at sunrise in October of 2021. Early in the morning at the Texas Cafe right now. The sun has just come up. We're making our way around the property here with my Canon camera. This is before my gimbal, so that's why it's all floaty and bouncy and kind of herky-jerky, I apologize. There's the inside of the cafe and the office and in the back, the kitchen area. And behind that, the uh, hotel, or excuse me, motel office and the rest of the motel units. It was a great setup. You've got the uh, gas station and cafe up front. And all this built about 1953. And was uh, at Glen Rio right before the border with New Mexico on the Texas side. And was uh, kind of strategically located. Think about this. You're there. You've got about, what, 40, 50 miles to Tucumcari. you got about 70, 75 miles to Amarillo. You might not want to drive those distances back in the day with your overheating car and no air conditioning. So Glen Rio uh, was probably a highly sought out place back in the day. Here are some of the units as I make my way around. You never know what you're gonna find in one of these uh, old abandoned locations, like right here on the ground. In front of me is a, uh, if I remember right, a veterinary manual of some kind. Not sure what was going on, but there it was. And why it's there, I got no idea. But this is the way things looked early in the morning. I believe it was in October of 2021. It in Rio, New Mexico. And this, right now what we're looking at are the remains of the Longhorn Motel right on the border with New Mexico. Rumor was the actual state line just ran right behind this group of units here on the U-shaped uh, motel plaza here, Ickle and Rio. And these are the last units on the end. Now today, this entire group of uh, units is gone, cleaned out. They do not exist anymore. You can see the old driveway that made its way around these units. And here, the service station with the service bay. And we make our way back around and in the back door. Lots of rides were affixed here on old Route 66. Service bay with a single post lift. Nuts and bolts still in the bin. And the morning sun started to shine through. Now back outside, Texas Longhorn Station Cafe and Motel, again built in 1953. And when I-40 rerouted around Glen Rio, it forced the closure of uh, this complex here, the cafe, the gas station, the motel. I believe that happened about 1976, 1977, somewhere around that time. Now, since this uh, video in 2021 was made, there have been some changes in Glen Rio and at the Texas Longhorn Motel Cafe 
and station. I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but something's going on. We'll take a look at what we saw in mid-July of 2023. Then... And now... There is something afoot at the Texas Motel service station and cafe. Uh, there has been kind of a salvage job going on, you can tell. All the glass has been removed. All the uh, wood structure, the uh, rafters, uh, shingles, all this of uh, most of the buildings. That stuff has been removed. Over here in the main office and residence, you can see that uh, they've gone in and and done a, a big, big cleanup job. But they missed that bird's nest on top of the ceiling fan. I have no idea who owns this, this property or what the plans are, but there's something going on. And they've done, uh... <laughs> If you want to call it that, they've, they've done quite a good job of cleaning things up and uh, whatever their plans were, they, they, they've done a good job, but man, purist on uh, Route 66 or purist of the Mother Road, man, they're kind of freaked out at what they see here and they're, they're wondering what is going on. But obviously, I, I'm guessing there's going to be some kind of development going on here. Possibly utilizing the old structures, I don't know. But there is something going on. Felt it was important to kind of document the uh, location at this point in its history. We've got video from a few months, or excuse me, a few years earlier. And where it stood in July of 2023. Amazing built in 1953 and went out of business in the mid 70s. And that's that's not, you know, in the grand scheme of things, I don't believe that's a very long time period to be in business with such a, you know, th this type of business in a location like this. Just goes to show you what I 40 did to so many businesses up and down the mother road just crushed them in many instances you know one of the ways you can even tell this is the same location is just is just by the graffiti we saw this very same graffiti from two years ago on these walls and some new graffiti but yeah yeah like the big rabbits that i believe is gonna be coming up here soon somewhere in our in our stroll up the old motel walkway. Now down the road from this location, there is a brand new structure going in. And we do know what's going on there. It's just over the New Mexico state line from Texas. And this building is going to be a dispensary. So they'll be uh, dispensing from right across the Texas border. And they've uh, taken some of the old buildings near it and uh, tear they're tearing down some of those and uh, propping up some of the other ones. Uh, you saw that old flooring, that old stick down flooring from back in the day that's still down there on the floor. Guess they couldn't get it up. But yeah, here's, here's where the location Longhorn Cafe, Motel, and Station. Uh, the way it appeared in October of 2021, and then here in July of 2023. If you like the video, please do give us a thumbs up, hit that thumbs up button, and please do feel free to communicate in the comments section. Uh, if you want to know when we get new video up, just uh, hit the uh, notification bell. Most of all, what keeps us flying is your subscription. So 
please subscribe. That would be awesome. Hey, we appreciate you uh, flying with us here. It's Keith Vaughn, and this is Keith Vaughn's Flying Circus.